A charge experiences a force of negative 2 times 10 to the negative 2 newtons in an electric field that has the strength of 45,000 newtons per coulomb. And the electric field strength they're denoting is positive. So we have to sort of imagine that we've got these field lines. It doesn't matter if they're uniform or non-uniform. makes no difference. And they might look like this. So imagine I've got these field lines emanating from some source. And at some location, imagine it's right here, the strength of the electric field is 45,000 newtons per coulomb. And remember, electric field also has a direction. So we're saying with these pink lines, it's also to the right, hence why we're saying it's positive. Now the force is negative. So the force that acts on this point is in the direction to the left. Now we know the equation that relates electric field and force. It's fairly simple. Electric field is force per unit charge. So if we want to calculate the amount of charge, multiply both sides by Q and divide by E, and I get Q is force over E. Now my force was negative 2 times 10 to the negative 2 newtons, and my electric field was positive 45,000 newtons per coulomb. That will give me a charge of negative 4.4 times 10 to the negative 7 coulombs. Now let's make sure the negative makes sense. I'm going to go back to my pink lines. If I'm imagining my electric field is positive, in other words, pointing to the right, we know that the field lines always point away from positive and towards negative. So somewhere over here, I've got this positive source. I've got to imagine I've got all these positives on this side here. And the field lines are moving away from me. Now, if this charge experiences a force to the left, then it must be negative. So it does make sense. Now, let's figure out how many electrons are involved. So we know the value of the overall charge, and we know it consists of electrons. So let's just do some unit cancelling. So there's my total charge and I want to convert that to the number of electrons. Coulombs is on top so I want to make sure it's on the bottom. For every electron, one electron has a charge of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And when I do that division I end up getting the number of electrons since my coulombs will be cancel off of 2.8 times 10 to the 12 electrons. So notice our units cancel off and we're left with the number of electrons.